Hello, my name is Darren Debris with Exgility, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to do a non disclosure agreement request form, have that translate into and create a, a Word document NDA with all the requested items in that Word document. So let's go ahead and get started. We're here at our demo site, and we're going to go ahead and get down to create a new one. So we're going to click the button, click new. It's going to open up the form. The form has a few things on it. It is tied to our Stormforce Opportunity Tracker. This really helps us make sure that uh, we don't have to hand type in a bunch of information from an opportunity. So I'm going to come in here and select one. I'll go ahead and select number five. It pre-populate some data here, of course. Um, standard is to create the NDA first. We'll talk at another time about how to create an NDA right off or a TA right off of this exact same form. So let's go ahead and fill out who the requester is, although this form, this part could also be automatically filled in if you so desire. So it populates it out. As you can see, there's also a link to the Learning Center. This is video tutorials on how to do this. And as you can see, that non-disclosure agreement information is down here, and the uh, opportunity information is already pre-populated that's relevant to this. So let's go ahead and fill out some of this information quickly. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and filled out some of the information that's required in here. Uh, put in an estimated date. No changes or the signed NDA is not done yet, so we'll wait for that one to do that. But we will put in who's going to process the NDA. In this case, I'm multifaceted, so I will do it all. And as I do that, I go ahead and click the people picker, and it go ahead and it pulls in my address. That's important for the NDA. So all my fields are filled out, and I just go ahead and hit save. So let's get down here and see what we got. There's in cut and there it is so we're good to go right so it's got the ID at 6 and it's still tied back to our Stormforce opportunity tracker so we can track the NDA through there and clearly uh, right now this is all grouped by company name but you can group it by opportunity name things like that it's no big deal uh, so let's go take a look and see what happens because once I hit save it sends an email to the person who's going to go ahead and process the NDA so here we go. I am the person who's going to process the form. So there's my notification that it's ready. If I click this, it'll go ahead and open up the Word document. But I can also go right in here, and it's located right here. There it is, NDA 6. Uh, for NCOT, Salesforce ID is still SF5. So we're good to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this uh, new form we've got here, ENDA 6. So there you go. There's the address, which is good to go. There's the company name, good to go. The opportunity, we scroll down here to the bottom. All this information is good to go. So now I can go ahead and process this. So what happens once it gets processed and signed? Now what happens? So let's go ahead and close this out. So I go in here and I open up the NDA request form. I'm gonna go ahead and browse to attach the file just like I would anything else. So I click it, okay, attach, and we're good to go. So, and then I hit save again, and the data gets saved back to the system, and the process is complete, and as the requester, I get a notification telling me that my NDA is complete and attached, and oh, by the way, I can go back at any time, not as the end user and also as the person who's processing the NDA, and capture and find and report on those NDAs. I hope this has been very helpful. Thanks. Bye.